What's up YouTube? In this video we're going to learn how to use Tailwind CSS with Shopify. So by the end of this video you're going to have a development environment where you can use Tailwind CSS classes in your theme. Uh, you can customize the Tailwind config and add custom colors and do whatever you want. And uh, it's all going to sync to Shopify and work great. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment and stick around. We're going to get started right now. All right, so first things first, you gotta be developing your theme locally. You can't be doing it in the browser. So if you're doing it within edit code here, it's not gonna work. And to develop locally, you have two choices. So there's the Shopify CLI for themes, and then there's Shopify theme kit. So Shopify is recommending the CLI going forward. So that's what I'll be using for this tutorial. So let's just close this tab. Let's go back to the Shopify CLI, and here's the installation instructions. So I'll put the link in the description and once you have it installed, you can open up your command prompt or terminal. And if you run Shopify, you should see some output like this and that indicates that it's working. So now that we got it installed, we can use this to develop our theme. So let's navigate where we want to code at. So I'm just going to go to my desktop with CD desktop. I'm going to make a new folder. I'll just call it TW for Tailwind. I'm going to CD into that folder. And uh, this is gonna be the root folder for a project. So I'm gonna make a subdirectory called theme. And this folder will house all our theme files. So let's CD into it. And then we're gonna use the Shopify CLI to download our theme files. So to do that, you're gonna go Shopify theme pull dash dash store. And then you put your stores uh, dot my Shopify dot com URL. So dash dash store equals. And mine is coding with Robbie dot my shopify.com and the first time you run this command it's going to make you log in before it continues i've already done that so let's run it and yours will tell you to log in i've done it so it lists all my themes and uh, i'm going to be using this tailwind tutorial theme right here which is currently published so i'll just hit enter and it's going to download all those files within to the <laughs> within to the theme directory so now i'm going to go back a folder to that root um, directory and I'm just going to open this up in VS Code to show you what I have. So here's that theme folder and here's all my theme files. So my theme's basically completely empty. That's why I don't have a lot in here. But I have a theme.liquid file and it's pretty much empty. I got an index.json file and this just says, hey, render the main index uh, liquid section, which I have right here. And uh, that's it. The section just says coding with Robbie. So now let's run the dev command from the Shopify CLI. So let's go back here. I'm going to CD back into that theme folder. And I'm going to run Shopify theme dev. And it's going to fire and start everything up. It'll just take a second. And then it says, hey, you're ready to go. You can preview your theme at this URL. So let's copy it. And then let's just open up a new tab. And here we go. Here's my theme. And now it's watching our theme files for changes. So say I went into my theme and I went to this main index and I made it coding with Robbie 2. I can save it and it's automatically going to update. Um, so now we're ready to introduce Tailwind. And uh, how we're going to do that is with the Tailwind CLI. So if we look at the instructions right here, I'll link this in the description also. So if you're using like Next.js or something different, they have special guides. But for Shopify, we're just going to use the CLI and uh, here's the instructions. So we're going to have to set up NPM in that root folder. So let's go back to terminal. I'm going to open up a new tab, leaving this one running. And then I'm going to go back to that root folder, the Tailwind folder. And I'm going to run NPM init dash yes. This is going to create a package.json file. So now we can install uh, NPM packages. And the one we need is this Tailwind CSS uh, NPM package. So let's copy the command, paste it in. It's going to download Tailwind in our folder. And then once that finishes, we're going to run this command. This is going to generate a Tailwind config file. So let's run that. It finishes and now we have tailwind.config.js. And if we go in our um, code right here, you can see it right there. Once we got that, we have to modify our config file. So we have to modify this content line right here. So let's copy this. Go in tailwind config.js and let's replace the line. And this is where you tell uh, Tailwind what to watch. So in our case, we're not looking in the source directory. We're looking within theme. 
And then the star star just means any subdirectory in there. And then inside any of these folders, we want to look for star dot and we don't want HTML or JS. So we just want liquid just like that. Uh, going back to the instructions. Next up, we got to create an input.css file. So let's copy these lines and we're actually going to put this in the root directory. So with the tailwind config file, I'm just going to go new file. I'll just call mine styles.css and then I'll paste in those lines they gave us. Looking good. And now we just have to run this command to build the tailwind and watch for changes. So let's copy this. I'm going to put mine in an npm script. So let's um, go within our package.json file. We'll go to scripts right here. I'm going to create a new one. Let's call it tw for tailwind. And then we'll paste that command within quotes. And let's break down this uh, command. So it says, hey, tailwind.css, our input file. And ours is the style.css right here. So ours is just uh, dot slash style.css. And then dash O is output. And we want it to output to theme. And then uh, CSS files in Shopify go within the assets directory. So you'll probably have one already. I'm going to create mine right now. So dot slash theme slash assets. And I'll call my file uh, style.css. And then this last part just says, hey, keep running and watch for changes. So now we're going to run this script. So let's go back to our terminal. So we have the Shopify CLI running right here. And in another tab, we're going to run the Tailwind uh, CLI. So to do that, it's just going to be npm run and then whatever you name the script. So we called ours EW. I'm going to run that. And it's going to say, hey, we just built the Tailwind file and you should have that style.css file built. So let's check if we go inside assets, we now have, have style.css. And here's all the base Tailwind stuff they start you out with. So let's go back to our store, refresh and nothing happened. And that's because I haven't linked up my style sheet yet. So I'm going to go within my theme.liquid. Yours is probably already linked up, but let's just go link rel is equal to style sheet. href is going to be style.css and it's an asset URL. So here's how you can link that up with Shopify liquid. And now it should be connected. So if we go back, you can see all the margins and stuff are gone and it's all reset, which indicates that it's working. So let's try it out. Let's uh, go to that index section I have right here. And let's just go class is equal to, we'll go text uh, 2XL, color is blue 500, um, maybe font semi bold. And uh, there's no dash there. Go back and you can see it changed. Let's try some more stuff. Maybe we'll wrap this in a div with uh, maybe padding 12, text center, uh, BG blue 100. Go back and it's all working pretty good, except for my color blue 500. It's actually text blue 500. I don't use Tailwind all that much. There we go, we're in business. Um, and yeah, you can do customizations, do anything just like you would in another Tailwind project. So say we wanted a custom font size, I could extend it right here. And maybe I want text uh, 20 XL, and I'll set that equal to 100 rem, which is gigantic. And now that custom font size will work. So I could go back to main index, maybe text 20 XL now. And there we go, we got giant text. So now that we have our changes made, we have to push this to Shopify. And I haven't done this before, I'm gonna do it live right now and hopefully it works. Let's stop the CLI with uh, Command C or Control C if you're on Windows. And then we're gonna go, we're in the theme folder still. Let's go Shopify theme push dash dash stores equal to coding with Robbie.myshopify.com. Let's see if this works. And uh, we have to select what theme it is. Mine is this one. And it says, hey, this is the live theme. You better be careful. You usually want to do this on an unpublished theme, but I'm just going to say yes. And it says it's pushing your changes to Shopify. And uh, all those changes we made should be live. So let's try it out. Let's view our store. And there we go. So that's how you can use Tailwind CSS with Shopify. I hope this video helped you. 
Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. If you have an idea for a Shopify video, put it in the comment section also. This was a, a request by one of you guys. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.